Now, uh, here we are again on Come On Day. Uh, 104. <laughs> no, that's not right. Do you reckon? No. So it's 100, 100 days when we went to the magnificent resort up there at uh, Park uh, Exclusive. Exclusive. Yeah. Anyhow, you say it's 104. So we're in, we're confined to the berth here at uh, Coral Sea Marina because so uh, you can't see this, but there's a squall, Ooh. a severe rainstorm yeah. coming in. You can see that out there? Yes. It's still warm, but it's, um, which leads us to. So, look here. So here's another thing. This is uh, this is the 115th thing that's gone wrong with the boat. This is not nice pack for a knee that I've uh, twisted. This is a um, this is a fender which has um, what's it done? <laughs> done a puffer valve. It's blown its puffer valve. Uh, so uh, we're off to buy another one of them because it's very important if you can actually get the boat into a, a mooring or a berth at a marina. You've got to hang these over the side so you don't wreck the boat and the marina. So we're going to get one of them. Also, we've topped up the uh, steering fluid because sometimes when you're steering it with the wheel as opposed to steering it automatically with the uh, remote. And, and what do you say when the steering doesn't work? I say, blow <laughs> me down, isn't that annoying? Words, <laughs> words to that effect. Uh, and you run for cover. Uh, so, um, so this is uh, this is this is not the stuff you put in the engine. Remember, I was just remember I was just about to tip the uh, steering fluid into the engine. Uh, so this is um, skipper. Uh, this is hydraulic steering systems only. So we've topped that up. We know how to do that. And uh, now we're going to plan with all these books here. We're going to plan, starting to plan how to get home. More importantly. Uh, sailing home will be a piece of cake. It's when the <laughs> wind turns and we have to beat the designated cyclone season. You've got to be south of Gladstone before a certain November, time, November, before November. Yeah. If you're not, you have no insurance on your boat because if a cyclone comes up, and not only blows us, well, don't worry us, we'll probably be whirl whirling around up in space, but the people who uh, are heir to the boat who I've left it to, my kids, they'll want to get uh, some sort of compensation for the fact that I've been stuffing around with their money rather than leaving it to them all at once. So uh, that's what we're about to do. We're going to try and plan, just cruise along, or not cruise along, sit inside here and work out. And maybe if anyone's got any suggestions on how, we, we're doing the Queensland pit, pit first, so mm. go from Airlie Beach down to Gold Coast. Anyone got some suggestions that we might? Yep, that they I'll tell you what the at? main suggestion will be. Why don't you fly home and get a captain to bring it home, <laughs> or, or put it on the on a that's, ship? That's no fun. No, that's no fun. Anyhow, that's what we're doing. So I know these are all sparse uh, sort of entries for day one hundred and four, but. Uh, we could not report anything and that would probably, uh, but you know, people say we want to know how you're going and some people say that, a lot of people say that and uh, we could maybe come back with some more comments. We get plenty of comments about how do you live your life, how we should live our life, Sue and I, what we be, should be doing together, what the boat should be doing. Uh, we're getting it serviced now. Someone said, oh, if you're going to take your boat and whinge about how many things go wrong, then why don't you get it serviced? Well, we're going to get it serviced. The Caterpillar people, Caterpillar are coming down uh, next week, this coming week, and they're going to service the boat. Uh, God knows how much that'll be, but what's the matter? What price on safety? I tell you what, if there's a uh, choice between it costing an arm and a leg, or uh, me being able to pay for it, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly dispense with an arm or a leg, just so I can afford it. No, we won't. Safety is no price on safety, so they'll be here during the week, and we'll tell you what they found, what's wrong with it. Here comes the old timer. <laughs> Let's uh, go. I tell you what, uh, I've only got this on here because there's some places you're not meant to ride a scooter, so I have a dispensation from the marina, and this tells people you wouldn't believe how many different comments you can get from people <laughs> just as you go by an aside or they stop you and. Uh, they say, yeah, we knew you had issues from when you were playing football, when you were on television, when you were doing this. We know that. You don't have to advertise. It's extraordinary. Uh, it's quite an interesting uh, interesting uh, um, dynamic. Uh, the people who are so interested in making smart... But shut that thing. We were coming down here to get some uh, a, tender, a fender, but they're bloody shut. 
anyhow there we are so uh, it's uh, quite interesting uh, just push on anyhow regardless so we decided to uh, kill two birds with the one stone what what are you doing just stick my thumbs up oh, the boys. Yeah, all the best, yeah. boys. Yep. So take care yep we decided to kill two birds with one stone. We thought we'd come to the chandlery and get a cup of coffee, replace the fender at the chandlery and just reload, just get a bit of a fizz up for the rest of the day with some coffee. But things are at a different pace up here in Early Beach. The coffee shop shut, uh, shuts at noon. Not sure why it'd open at all if it shuts at noon. And the chandlery, believe it or not, on a weekend, shuts at noon. Uh, I thought that's extraordinary. Wouldn't you think people on their weekend would want to uh, top up and do some repairs? But no, the chandlery must be earning that much money, <laughs> particularly from us. You got shares in the place. Yeah. Anyhow, so then we decided we'd move up and have uh, just a, an outdoor meal at Sorrento. This is quite a popular eating spot here. And uh, reflecting on some of the things we did yesterday. I, uh, in my, uh, yep, that's, uh, that's it there. Just so I do the view. Yeah, of course. In my naivety, I said uh, about, um, uh, talking about fuel, which I know nothing about, but someone said that it has a, what did they say about diesel, Suzanne? They it's said it has a higher flashpoint rate. Yes, that's it. Therefore, I was half right. I was completely right. It doesn't combust if you throw a match on it. And then someone, I uh, said the mechanics of a, 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 a piston engine or a, the mechanics of a combustible engine, combustible, uh, is a suck, bang, blow, push or something. And they said, oh, yes, you were half right. <laughs> what was it? Um, suck. <laughs> so it sucks the air in. It pushes it into the... Uh, what? Is no, it, it sucks. I think, without checking what someone corrected me for, <laughs> it sucks the air in. It pushes it into the uh, firing chamber. Yes. It bangs, uh, it ignites, and then it blows it out, the exhaust. Suck, push, bang, blow. Have I got that right? Uh, Tell me that's correct. Uh, uh, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. That's from one person, and that's a, a four-stroke com uh, uh, combustor. Can I, just, can I just tell you, there's people listening to this on the other <laughs> table. <laughs> and they think we're being um, rude. They think we're making a porn video because <laughs> I said suck, squeeze, bang, blow, and the woman went, <coughs> and she said to her husband, she went. I, 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 I would like to tell her that this is just how a combustible engine works: suck, squeeze, bang, blow. And then someone also said. Um, uh, now here's an interesting thing which I wasn't, I, I was, I'd forgotten about this. We went out in the um, Sirocco tender, which is made out of, well, it's made out of canvas, isn't it? Anyhow, it's not a fiberglass or a wooden or a tin. Hard rubber. <laughs> rubber. Hard, hard, well, hard soft ru rubber. Hard, soft, hard rubber. And they said, did you realise that there is a resident, I don't know if it's a resident, but there has been a rogue crocodile paddling round the marina in amongst the boats. <laughs> and I thought, holy shit. A crocodile can open its gob and bite the end off uh, the, the tender. Okay. Yeah. It could easily do that. True. And I said, uh, I said to you, I said, well, as long as you got the camera going and as it bites one of your arms off, you get it on video, because we'll be able to sell that around the world to any news channel that wants to pay for it. Don't worry about our health. So uh, we had comments about that. Did you know there was a crocodile there? Did you know that it goes suck, squeeze, bang, blow? Did you know that fuel uh, combusts at a much higher rate if it's diesel? What else did someone say? Uh, when are you coming home? What? <laughs> when are you coming home? Who would be interested in that? <laughs> people. <laughs> Yeah, these people next door are interested in anything we say from now on. Uh, <laughs> anything they say, they would uh, be interested in it. Uh, okay. They've got ears out on the side of their head like a megaphone. Um, Start talking about your only fans page. Yes, yes. Uh, no, so that, that's it. So uh, I know this is really mundane, but you've ordered a... Um, they make a very nice meatball here. They do. People will be watching this and I say, oh, God, this is what this has degenerated to, this pathetic posting on the YouTube what channel. What did you get? Smartest what? What did you order? I ordered a, a mushroom risotto with asparagus in it, so there goes my wee. 
do you have a so I where do I urinate on the boat? <laughs> I'm gonna look forward to that Keep one. Keep back because it makes you piss smell. You, uh, um, not that you'd be eager to be outside the uh, can when I'm doing it. So I can say, come in, I've just had a piss. And you go, holy shit, what is that? That's, I said, that's asparagus. Wonder why asparagus does that. These people, these people are going to move. They've <laughs> just decided to move. <laughs> Nate. <laughs>